Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, pink uh, quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, angle is 120 degrees, this angle is uh, 75 degrees, whereas this angle is uh, 90 degrees. And moreover, this side length uh, A, D is equal to this side length uh, A, B. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side uh, CD is uh, 13 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 120 degrees, and this angle is 75 degrees. Let me label uh, this angle uh, as uh, alpha. In other words, uh, this uh, angle BCD is going to be alpha. And now let's recall this uh, crucial factor, the quadrilateral angle uh, sum equals to 360 degrees. In other words, uh, sum of all uh, these uh, four uh, interior angles of this quadrilateral must be equal to 360 degrees. So let me go ahead and write down angle alpha plus 90 degrees plus 120 degrees plus 75 degrees must be equal to 360 degrees. And if we combine the like terms on the left hand side, we're going to get alpha plus 200 and 85 degrees equal to 360 degrees. Let's go ahead and subtract 285 degrees from both sides to isolate alpha. So therefore our angle alpha turns out to be 75 degrees. So therefore our this angle of BCD which is alpha turns out to be 75 degrees. And here's our next step. We are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job a little bit simpler. And here in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, these vertices B and uh, D. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, DAB. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABD. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length AD equal to this side length uh, AB. So therefore, uh, these angles are going to be congruent. This angle is going to be 45 degrees and likewise this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well. And now let's make an observation. We know that this whole angle is 75 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees. So therefore this remaining angle is going to be 30 degrees. And likewise this angle is 120 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees so therefore this uh, remaining angle is going to be 75 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BCD and we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle as well since uh, this angle is 75 degrees uh, and this angle is 75 degrees uh, as well. So therefore uh, this side length uh, CD is going to be equal to this side length uh, BD. If this side length is uh, 13 then this uh, BD length is going to be 13 uh, units as well. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, ABD. And since uh, these two side lengths AD and AB are congruent, let me label this side length uh, as lowercase a. Then this side has got to be lowercase a as well. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our longest leg is uh, 13. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus a square once again equal to 13 square. So let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So we got 2a square equal to 169. Let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate a square. So therefore our a square value turns out to be 169 divided by 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these two individual area, the area of this uh, triangle uh, 
A B D and this uh, other triangle uh, B C D. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this triangle uh, A B D and the area of this other triangle uh, B C D as well. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, A B D. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle C. And in our case, our side lengths are A and B. And C is the angle uh, between these two side lengths. And here in our case, uh, our side lengths are A and A. And the angle between them is 90 degrees. So therefore, triangle ABD area is going to be a half uh, times uh, A times uh, A times sine of uh, angle uh, 90 uh, degrees and we know sine of 90 degrees is uh, 1 so therefore I'm going to replace sine of 90 degrees by 1 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, sine of uh, 90 degrees by 1 over here and if I simplify everything uh, on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, a square and now we know that our a square value is 169 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace this one 169 divided by 2 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced a squared by 169 divided by 2. Let's go ahead and simplify. So therefore this uh, triangle a b d area turns out to be 169 divided by 4. And here's our next step. We are now going to calculate the area of this other triangle uh, BCD. And we are going to use this very same uh, area of a triangle formula. And in our case over here our two side lengths are uh, 13 and 13 and the angle between them is uh, 30 degrees. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. We got 1 divided by 2 times uh, 13 times 13 uh, once again times sine of uh, angle uh, 30 degrees and now we know sine of 30 degrees equals to 1 divided by 2 so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, sine of 30 degrees by 1 divided by 2 over here so therefore let me go ahead and copy it down 1 divided by 2 times uh, 13 times uh, 13 times uh, 1 divided by 2 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 169 divided by 4. So therefore the area of this uh, other triangle BCD turns out to be 169 divided by 4 as well. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this quadrilateral uh, ABCD. We have already figured out the area of these individual triangles triangle ABD area and this uh, triangle BCD area and both triangles area is 169 divided by 4. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So I'm going to write down 169 divided by 4 plus uh, once again 169 divided by 4 and now let's go ahead and uh, add these one. We have the same denominator 4 so we got 169 plus uh, 169 so that is going to give us uh, 338 uh, divided by 4 and if we reduce this thing that is going to be 169 divided by 2 and if we put this one in decimal notation so that is going to be simply 84.5 square units so thus the area of this uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD turns out to be 84.5 uh, square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.